left off in our last video. I know exactly how I, how I was going to be spending the day there biking. Yeah, this is not exactly where I thought I'd be today on the end of a toe strap. My bike's transmission's dead. Now this is what the bike sounds like when we put it into first gear. This is the bike in first gear here. Second gear. Third gear. So when I'm letting go of the clutch and engaging it, it's, it can be in first gear, second gear, third gear, doesn't matter, the bike doesn't engage. So something in my transmissions come disengaged or has come apart. You're not getting, you only get first and second, but it's not, it's actually going first, second, nothing. See, it's not moving it. It's not grabbing the star wheel at all. You're halfway. Today we're gonna to be going over and pulling the engine out of the RFZ. I'll be wiring, so let's cut these zip ties and start unplugging some of the stuff. Unplug the whole harness. All right, and just like that, we've got our whole harness labeled. As you can see, there's letters and numbers everywhere. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Oh, there we go. There's the whole engine out. We got a freaking engine in her hand, boys. Hell yeah. We got the 150cc engine is in and it's time to start the swap. So let's jump right into the box. Let's go. And there we have it. That is our 150cc uh, motor. So after struggling my ass off to try and freaking get this engine in, took way more finagling than it should have. The engine is finally in. Pop this sucker off. All right, so we got our pipe off. Put it on here. All right, so we have that on. And I guess when we're here, next from there is gonna be going and putting on the carburetor, so I guess. All right, so there's the carbon. Uh, now I guess we need to go ahead and put, all right, so we got the carb throttle is in there. We've got our fuel line run. We got our drain. Uh, this is our vacuum vent something, blah, blah, blah. This one's the fuel drain. Uh, and then we gotta stick the gas can on and we're freaking pretty much there, boys. All right, so we got our fuel filter. That's all connected. Gas tank bolts are tight there and the two down there. But it's the tank itself is looking pretty grimy and dirty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up real quick. So let's just go like this. All right, there's our gas tank. That's nice and look, that's looking fresh. Well, there's my exhaust. Uh, it's looking pretty, pretty gross. So I guess I'm gonna go over and I'll do the same thing and I'll just give this a little spit shine. All right, and there's our pipe. Uh, it's uh, shined up and as clean as it's gonna get. So go ahead, we're gonna assemble that and stick it up in that. So there's the exhaust, it's just sitting up in there. Now I'm gonna work on getting the clamps here, the clamp right there. And then it's gotta tighten up these bolts. So uh, we'll go ahead, stick our plastics on there. But man, this thing is actually like pretty, pretty freaking nice looking now. Engine I'm stoked on, I can't wait to rip this thing. And just like that, our swap is in. We got the 150 cc's in, bolted up, everything is done. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, without further ado, let's just go ahead and start this bike up. Hey, uh, Woo! Woo! Yo! <laughs> oh, she starts, boys! Yes, sir. <laughs> Runs pretty smooth for a first start. <laughs> True. Oh, boys, look at this shit. So that's our very first start up. You can see it's a little bit smoking on the exhaust, but that's a little normal, you know, a little bit greasy mitts on there. All oh, the RFZ boys, it's alive. It's freaking alive again. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much for all your support and liking all the videos, man. It makes all this grinding and hard work, uh, it all pays off, man. Today we got a banger. We're gonna show you how to make your dirt bike quicker. It's really simple with this easy step. Uh, it's gonna make you have more top speed and it's gonna give you more traction, better acceleration in the corners. It's gonna make you a confident, more better rider. This is what we're doing today. As you guys can tell, my tires are quite worn, especially my rear. I do have these smaller set of wheels. These are the 12s and the 14s. So as you guys can see here, well, we got a brand new set of meats for this thing. Here's an upgraded 14 inch with some absolutely gnarly knobbies on it. And then we got our 17 inch front tire here as well with the brand new tire. These are both a set of Dunlop tires on the two of them. And uh, so yeah, I just gotta go ahead. I have to pull disc brake off and put the disc brakes onto the other wheels so we can go ahead and install those onto the Apollo. Let's just pull this front off like this. All right, old wheels off. Let's just get this new one on like this. 
Damn, boy. All right, there we go. We got our two tires on. Let's take a step back and look at this piece. So as you guys can see, that is our 2020 Apollo RFZ with the 150cc swap in it. That is the graphics that come stock on the bike. And today, thanks you to our friends over at Calair GFX. They sent us out a complete custom kit for our bike. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna peel off those decals that you guys just saw. And we got a whole new set of custom graphics to throw into this bike and this bike's gonna look sick as hell. So let's just jump right into it and we'll go ahead and we'll start peeling these suckers off. And we'll lay out these new graphics and we'll go ahead and we'll take a peek at it. Well, she's looking pretty gosh darn naked. It's one Apollo RFC looks like with nothing on it when it's uh, graphicless. Mine is our fork tubes. You just gotta take those ones off, but that thing is pretty naked looking. All right, here we are. I haven't looked at it fully, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a step back. I haven't looked at it. Let's not look at the dirt bike. All right, here's my reaction the first time seeing it. <gasps> Damn, boy, check this thing. Oh, oh my God, it looks so freaking good. Hell yeah, man, I'm so pumped. I gotta say massive, massive thank you to Caller graphics for sending me out this graphics kit it looks absolutely bomb super pumped on it the bike looks so sick one off like special apollo it looks so dope man with the 150 cc swap the big tires and now the custom graphics on it and this thing looks absolutely killer so without further ado let's jump into our little showcase and show you guys the bike I am so incredibly stoked on how this Apollo RFC came out. I think it's honestly probably one of the cleanest Apollo RFCs on YouTube. You guys let me know down in the comments section down below if you guys disagree or agree, but I think this is the cleanest Apollo RFC on YouTube by far. This thing's absolutely sick. Massive shout out. Huge thank you, huge, huge thank you to Calair GFX for sending us out this graphics kit. And thank you to all you guys for watching and making this possible and having them be able to send me out a kit to show you guys. So yeah, if you guys are interested in buying any of these kits for your dirt bikes, they make them for all sorts of dirt bikes, not only Apollo RFCs, but Suzuki's, Cow Sockies, you name it, they probably make it. And if you guys want something custom made up, they can do that too, custom colors, custom wording, all of that. But uh, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys wanna learn any more about the Apollo Pit Bike, how I did the 150cc swap or any of the upgrades I've done, I got a bunch of videos that'll be listed down in the description and in the corner up above. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, taking the Apollo C out on some trail. So peace out everybody.